So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. In this case, we have a simple XY table, right? So each of these rows would effectively be ordered pairs if we were to graph them. The question says for line H, the table shows three values of X and their corresponding values of Y. Line K is the result of translating line H down five units in the XY plane. So what does that mean? If I take these values, right, this is line H, and I'm translating them down five units in the XY plane, that means I'm not affecting the X values, right? The X values are not being affected. I'm not translating anything horizontally, left or right. All I am affecting or all I am impacting are the Y values. So if this is line H, then line K should look like this. For that same 18, instead of 130, it should be 125 because I've translated, the, I've translated that value down five units. For 23, instead of 160, it'll be 155. And for 26, instead of 178, it'll be 173. The question says, what is the x-intercept of line k? Well, the x-intercept, I need to know the, what would I need to know? I need to know the equation for this line, actually. So I'm going to take some values here. I'm going to take the first two. So I have 18, 125 as an ordered pair and 23, 155 as an ordered pair. I'm going to write my slope-intercept form of a, of a line here, y equals mx plus b. I'm going to find m by taking the difference in my y values, 155 minus 125, over the difference in x values, 23 minus 18. And what I get here is 30 over 5, which is 6. So I know that m is equal to 6, and therefore I have y equals 6x plus b. I'm going to then take another ordered pair. Let's take the 23, 50, 155 again and plug those, plug the x value and the y value in to my equation in order to solve for b. And what I'd have here is 155 equals 6 times 23 plus b. 6 times 23 in my calculator is 138. So I have 155 equals 138 plus b subtracting 138 from both sides. And by doing that, I get 17. So I go up here, I have 17 equals B, which means my equation is Y equals 6X plus 17. Now to find the X intercept, I need to make Y equal to zero. So I'm gonna replace Y with zero. So zero equals 6X plus 17. I'm gonna subtract 17 from both sides. I end up with negative 17 equals 6x, divide both sides by 6, and I'm left with x is equal to negative 17 over 6. There's my x-intercept. The actual ordered pair, therefore, will be negative 17 over 6, comma, 0, because again, in order to find the x-intercept, you find the x value where y is equal to 0. So there's my ordered pair, and therefore, choice D must be the correct answer.